Hello everybody, welcome to AC Milan TV News. My name is Bruno, and this week is being very different from last week. Uh, we've been linked to so many players this week. Uh, it's very exciting, it's so different. I'm so happy, I'm so glad this is happening. It makes, it makes uh, things a bit easier because now we can kind of see what kind of formation we're gonna play, where we're going, what direction the club is gonna take. And I'm happy for that. Um, I just want to explain to you guys why we're actually linked with so many players so you guys know what's going on. So the reason is John Paul will most likely be our manager next year. We're just waiting on AC Milan to announce it and it's supposed to be a official announcement on Friday. Now this announcement can be changed, it can be Saturday, it can be Monday, who knows what happens, who knows what's going on back in the back scenes, you know, behind the scenes. Um, and it's also been reported that he was offered a two-year contract. Two million a year with an option of a third year, depending on his performances. Uh, that means if he makes Champions League, you know, uh, Copi wins the Coppa Italia, so on and so forth. Uh, so because of that, Aldini and John Paulo are definitely talking to each other. They kind of, you know, they're kind of trying to plan the, the future of AC Milan, the new AC Milan, and we kind of had to start now because if we don't start getting players, we're going to start losing our players. And it makes sense that we're linked to so many players now. But before we talk about the linked players, I want to talk about the departures because there's a few things that did change and I want you guys to know what's going on. So we know that Bacchioco, Bacchioco uh, Montolivo, Bertolacci, Mauri, Abate, and Zapata, they're all leaving. And Biglia looks like he's leaving as well. Um, the club wants to sell him. He might stay, but if he stays, he's going to be a bench player. Um, but the club does want to sell him. So there's a few things with Biglia. He's getting old. He has a really big wage. He has in injuries, a lot of injuries. Um, so it makes sense the club wants to move on from Biglia. But aside from those seven players, which is a lot, seven players is a lot, I want to talk about four other players that are linked to leave. And they're a little bit more important for our development, for our future. So those players are Donnarumma, Cassiet, Chalanoglu, and Suzo. Now I'm going to start with the easiest one, which is Chalanoglu. Chalanoglu, he was uh, rumored to leave AC Milan back in the winter transfer window. And he was kind of rumored for this transfer window, but things cooled down a little bit. He... The club value him way too high, and no club wants to pay too much money for Chalonoglu. So it looks like he is going to stay with us. Also, it's being reported that John Paul does like Chalonoglu. So it makes sense that he's going to stay. He's a little bit inconsistent, but I'll be happy to see him under John Paul. I want to see what kind of player he can become. Because he's going to be playing that number 10 role, and that's where he plays the best. He almost never played that role under uh, other managers at AC Milan. So... I'm kind of happy to see him in a new formation. So that being said, with Chalonoglu staying, uh, I don't know if you guys remember, we're being linked to Praet from Sampdoria. He plays the same role. That means Praet is probably not going to come to AC Milan. And that's because we also got Paqueta and Bonaventura that can play that number 10 role. So it doesn't make any sense to bring in Praet. It's... It makes more sense to get that money and expend somewhere else that we actually need, like a midfielder or some defenders or maybe an extra striker. So um, don't expect Praet to come in. Uh, he was supposed to be a replacement for Chalonoglu. Now, let's talk about Cassier. Now, the club is valuing Cassier at 40 million euros, which I don't think is the right value. I think he's actually worth around 50 to 55 million euros. Uh, the reason is because he's young, he has a lot of potential, he is strong, he has stamina, he can play offense, defense, he shoots the ball, takes great penalties, and um, I mean, he, he's a little bit selfish. Uh, he has a lot of growth uh, to do, he can improve in a lot of ways, but I think he has so much potential. I, I really think he's a 50 million, player, 50 million euros per year, or 55 million euros per year, especially at the market right now. But they want 40 million. And because they want 40 million, a lot of, a lot of clubs want them. We're talking about West Ham, Arsenal, Manchester United, 
and Spurs. And all those, if you notice, all these clubs are from the Premier League, which they have a lot of money. Uh, 40 million for them are nothing. So he most likely will leave if they come in with a 40 million offer. Um, well, that's that. I, I, I don't know how I feel about Cassier leaving, but if he leaves, hopefully we can get a nice pl a replacement for him. Now, Suso. Uh, Suso has a, a release clause of 40 million euros as well. Um, for Suso, it's a bit different because we're playing a different formation. Uh, every time he played a number 10 role, he never really fulfilled his potential. He wasn't, he always flopped when he played as a behind a striker. I don't know why. He, I always thought he was a, a number 10. And when he played there, I never liked him playing there. He always was very selfish, always shooting the ball, never passing, never having that killer pass that we need for a number 10. So him leaving, I wouldn't be too um, too angry, too sad. I would just, I'll be okay with that. I'll use that money for something else, another player that will be better for our formation. And I, I, I kind of want you guys' opinion on that, if you guys would actually want to stay or go. So let me know in the comments below about that. Uh, but I, I wouldn't mind if he leaves. And also, if somebody comes in, activate his uh, release clause, it's not up to us anymore anyways. It's up to Suzo. If Suzo wants to leave, he'll leave. He's also having some contract issues with the club. It, it's just a mess. Suzo is a mess right now. Um, and whatever happens to Suzo, I'll be happy with it. I kind of, you know, I'm either or for me. Uh, the last one, which is the most difficult one, is Donnarumma. Uh, PSG is interested in Donnarumma. They offer, they're going to offer 60 million euros. I don't think 60 million euros is enough to bring Donnarumma to PSG. I think they get to offer around 70 to 80 million euros. And I think the club is not going to reject 70 million. I really don't. Um, and the only... If they offer 70 million, the only way I see Donnarumma A see Milan next year is if Donnarumma wants to stay here. And I doubt he do he does. I think he he wants to move on. Um that is the only way I see him staying because the, the club needs the money and seventy million is a lot of money, especially for a young goalkeeper. I, I again Donnarumma has a lot of potential. He is gonna be one of the best goalkeepers in the world. I'm gonna be so sad when he leaves because it, it's gonna be just weird watching an AC Milan play without Donnarumma on the field. And he's one of those, you know, those jewels that we always had, you know, the, for the, at least for the past four years, we, we had this jewel that we always can say, you know, we had the be one of the best goalkeepers in the world, one of the, the, the goalkeepers that are going to be the best in the world, and that's going to be gone. Um, maybe it's going to be gone. But I think, I think if they offer $70 million, he's gone. Okay, so let's uh, move on from that because that was all the departures. Let's talk about the, the players that are linked to us. We're going to start with uh, the, the, the one player that we, we already signed, which is Krunik. I think that's how you pronounce his name, Krunik. He was worth 6 million to 8 million euros. Um, I think he's a decent signing. He's a, like an around average to above average player. I feel like he's a squad player. He's going to be like a, a super sub or something like that. He's not going to be starting games, I don't think, unless somebody's hurt. But he's a player that wants to prove himself, that wants to improve, to prove that he can be better than what people think he is, like myself. I think he's just a squad player. So I think we got to replace all the all the, the stuff coming out, like Montalivo, Bertolacci, and Mauri. And those players need replacement, so bringing Krunic in, I think, is a is a good is a good uh, deal for AC Milan, especially for six million. That, that's nothing for AC Milan. So uh, he was cheap. He has potential. He has something to prove. He's great to be in a squad, but he's definitely not a starter. Another player connect uh, linked to us is Sensi, and Sensi is highly likely to be a AC Milan player. We have Locatelli at. Sassuolo on loan right now, and Sassuolo really wants to buy Locatelli. That means that we want Sensi, we offer Locatelli as a bargain, and Sensi's price is going to come down. And he's going to be relatively cheap, 
if we sell Locatelli to Sassuolo. So I think Sensi is the next signing for AC Milan. I, I wouldn't be very surprised if Sensi will be an AC Milan player next week or the week after. So watch out for Sensi because I think he's coming in. He's a very good player. I think he'll be starting uh, for AC Milan or playing most games from the start. Uh, the next one, uh, Barella. We are very interested in Barella. We're heavily linked to Barella, us and Inter. Um, but it, the reports are that Barella wants to be an Inter player. We're going to offer, I think we're going to offer more money than Inter. Uh, but for some reason, I feel like he's going to go to Inter. It's just, he's an Inter fan. He, you know, Inter's in the Champions League. It, it's going to be a shame because I like Barella. I think he's a great player. He's going to be a extremely good player, but he's most likely going to Inter. But watch out for that because it can change. Everything can happen with Barella. It's not nothing set in stone. Um, the next player is Paselli. And Paselli, you know, if this was like three years ago, two years ago, I used to love Paselli. I used to think he was one of the best players out there, Italian players. I, I always thought he had so much potential. I, I, I saw him as one of the best players, you know, supposed to be one of the best players of the last generation. And he kind of fell off a little bit. You know, I don't think he's the quality that we need. He gets injured a lot. He He's very inconsistent. Um, I don't know. I, I'm not sold on Vaselli. I, I don't think he should come to AC Milan. I don't think that's the quality of player we need. I don't think he, he'll fit well with us. Now, the next one, Mancini. He's a good defender, uh, very solid, but he could also be just a uh, a squad player, uh, or he can start a few games. I don't know if he, he'll be an actual starter, um, but he's very solid, and I kind of like him. So that's a easy, you know, if he seems like can buy him, they should buy him. The next one is Tonali from Prescia, and Tonali, he's young. A lot of potential again. Um, he's an AC Milan fan. It makes sense that he comes in. But I don't know if he comes in this year. I, he might come in next year or the year after. And even if he comes in this year, I don't think he'll be starting every game. Or even starting at all. He might be one of those players for the future. Uh, someone is learning from somebody else. And, I mean, that's an exciting signing. Uh, that will be a future player for AC Milan. Not, uh, let's get good right now let's challenge it for top four right now he's not that kind of player he's gonna be a future player uh next up we're gonna talk about uh toretta from arsenal toretta came out and said that he likes uh, he'll like to move back to italy someday uh we are linked to him but i just don't see it i don't see our arsenal selling but toretta at all he, toretta was one of the best players for arsenal last season He's probably worth so much money right now. His contract is up to all the way to 2023. So he has, what, four years under his contract? One of the best players for Arsenal. It just, for me, just doesn't click. It doesn't make sense. How much money are we going to be spending on Toretta if you go for Toretta? 80 million? 70 million? I don't think so. I don't think Casey Milan has that kind of money. So... I don't expect Toretta to come in. I wish he did because he's, I think he's a great player, but I don't think he'll be coming in. Next up is Lovren from Liverpool. He uh, He's valued at $25 million And please don't sign him, AC Milan. Please don't sign him. He's terrible. He's awful. I never liked Lovren. I thought every time I watch him play, he just... Oh, man. Uh, he's just going to be, if he comes in, hopefully he's just a squad player. He'll be in the bench all the time. He shouldn't be starting play games for AC Milan. He's, oh man, he's terrible. It will be such a bad deal for AC Milan. $25 million, Liverpool will be laughing all the way to the bank. $25 million for Lovren. <sighs> he's at best an average player. At best, with a lot of mistakes as a defender. We can find somebody else that's better. Let's let's get a young player and put it in there instead of... Uh, let's get Mancini, put it in there, and instead of Lovren. Lovren is just terrible. Oh, my God. 
please don't do AC Milan. That'll be is an awful choice. Um, and I think that's it, really. Um, we have those those five players linked. I would, you know, like I said, Sensi will most likely join us. Uh, Krinic is already with us. Uh, Tonali this year or next year. Barella is the player that I would be watching for. You know, if you see news of Barella, watch for those news. There's so many reports of Barella, Barella uh, swap deals, um, money. There's so much. So watch for Barella. That's going to be very interesting. It's going to drag a little bit. It's going to be, I don't think it's going to happen this week or next week. It's going to be more towards uh, July, end of July. So watch for that. And Toretta, probably not happening. And I think that's about it. Uh, oh, also, I think we, we do need a striker. So if you guys have any opinion on what kind of striker we need, what kind of striker we, we should bring in, please leave a comment below on that. And let me know what kind of striker you know you feel is good enough to play for us. Uh, I don't think we're throwing it. It's good enough to start. I think you'll be on the bench and replacing Piontek or the new striker that's coming in. But anyways, uh, if you like this video, please like the video, uh, subscribe, and comment below. Uh, thank you for your time, and goodbye.